very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so let's now make a follow-up for my weekly analysis which has been posted last uh, Saturday and let's see how did the market move so far in the last Monday and Tuesday so actually um, what I said about the euro USD has really it really happened and as you can see the pair uh, let me just correct this one. One point double two, one double two five four. Okay, almost there. Uh, the pair did not reach my entry point. It immediately started rising, and that is exactly what I said in the video. I said I'm expecting for it to uh, continue rising immediately right away, and it won't actually reach the entry level. However, uh, the pair has already made the break out of the resistance trend line as well. This one right, like like that. And as we can see, exactly what I said, it went to that resistance level and then reversed, has also retested the broken resist resistance trend line and then going to continue the rise. So, uh, that being said, along with the fact that the US dollar is still weak and there is no news that has actually uh, made it any stronger, I believe that the pair is going to continue rising right away and after the retest happened, and we can see the strong engulfing candle or the bullish engulfing candle uh, we can see that the sellers or the, the bears have already made one attempt it was really good attempt to actually fall below that resistance trend line but the bulls have pushed the market and as we can see we don't only have this engulfing bullish candle we also have this uh, what seems like a pin bar this red candle here it shows the attempt from the sellers to push the market down however they have failed and right now the pair is actually growing so uh, that being said also the euro usd is actually uh, let me just delete the old signal uh, the, uh, the euro usd is actually good for the buy right away however i just really hate giving signals to the buy immediately on the on the resistance therefore i'm just gonna uh, again be safe uh, and give a safe entry for the members and we can wait for the euro usd to fall for another 15 or 17 pips only uh, let me just uh, be sure my friends yeah like that so the next level where we, where, where we can actually start buying the euro USD again is gonna be on 1.12763 and if that happens actually the take profit this time is gonna be big because as I said uh, if that happens and the, after the retest the pair is gonna continue rising it's actually gonna make the, make the break out from that resistance and gonna continue flying uh, until it hit that resistance level on 1.14125 therefore let me just set our take profit level for this signal we can expect to gain at least 118 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna make it from this pair uh, take profit level is gonna be 1.13954 so that's my signal for the euro USD and hopefully it's also gonna uh, work and by the way I actually I'm actually expecting from the euro USD to continue the rise right away I don't think it's gonna fall actually I don't think it's gonna retest that support level uh, that level is being uh, given only for uh, your safety however if you are um, willing to take the risk you can start buying the euro USD right away and I think really it's gonna continue rising uh, by Wednesday evening it's gonna at least reach that resistance level right here and by Friday it's gonna reach that resistance on 1.13954 now looking at the pound USD uh, the pound USD has also moved exactly as I expected but sadly it did not reach my entry point which really sucks uh, that is the entry level I have given 1.24535 and the pair has made that reversal just seven or eight pips before touching it <laughs> however the pair is actually now flying in 107 pips of profit anyway what we can do next with the pound usd uh, let me just get rid of the old signal and the next move we can do is actually buy the pair actually it has already made the retest as you can see here let me just show you this this is interesting now we might say that we need to wait for the retest uh, of the broken resistance because as you know 
always when there is a breakout happen of any resistance of a or a support 90% of the time the market is gonna actually retest the broken level and then gonna continue the rise that is exactly what happened here look at this candle this candle right here was actually a retest that is not T that is not even a letter wait okay that was a retest candle so that means that the market has already made the retest on that broken resistance therefore we need to look now where we can actually start again buying the pound USD to do that let's move to the smaller time frames let's go to the 30 minute time frame perfect now looking at the 30 minute time frame I would assume that this level right here is actually gonna be the best to start again buying the pound USD so we can start buying at one point two five four zero seven of course I said that level because we are having right here the nearest resistance to this bullish breakout candle all right now let's just go back to the four hour chart after finding where we can start again buying the pair uh, I'm gonna stick to the same take profit level of the weekly analysis and that should actually give us about 90 pips of profit for those who missed uh, the entry from the weekly analysis video so 1.63263 uh, uh, 163, is our take profit level for, uh, for the pound USD now let's move to the AUD USD AUD USD has also moved as I expected but again sadly did not touch my entry level and the pair just started the rise uh, 17 pips before reaching it so let me just get rid of the uh, all the weekly anal uh, weekly analysis signal and as you can see that is exactly where the market has opened last Monday and we can see that it has went all the way to the take profit level that means the pair has already um, or this signal is no longer valid so let me now see what we can do with the AUD USD now from my point of view AUD USD is actually gonna make another reversal uh, let me just show you the reason because we're having right here three attempts uh, of a strong key support uh, sorry key resistance level now the pair is actually facing a resistance right here and it doesn't seem like the pair is able to actually make the break out of it immediately what we can see right here <coughs> uh, these let's read the candles my friend these candles uh, remember we are on the four hour chart all right let me just show you the power of this resistance level so seeing how many candles it took for the pair to reach that resistance level one two three four five six seven seven candles just to reach that resistance level and then in just two candles the bears were able actually to push the market down and it just went all the way right here to that previous support level right there immediately the the bulls have took the market up and right now they are actually uh, in ranging mode at that level so in other in other words we are right now stuck in the middle of a ranging resistance um, on that level so that's the smartest thing to do in my opinion uh, and to be safe is just wait for another good entry on a support level where we can start again buying the pair to find that level we need now to move to the smaller time frame let's go to the 30 minute time frame again perfect now on the 30 minute time frame we are seeing the hidden things that we couldn't see on the four hour chart what we can see right here is a clear key support level which was also a key resistance level that's why I think look at that look at that uh, price action here it really indicates that the pair is actually gonna con uh, uh, continue the fall all the way until it hit that support level then from that point we can start buying the AUD USD therefore that being said we can start by the AUD USD at 0 0.69506 perfect go back to the 4 hour chart and our tech profit level this time is gonna be increased exactly like that actually actually I think it's gonna continue the rising even more like yes like that because uh, as I said if there was a breakout gonna happen from that resistance it's gonna be a, a major breakout and the pair is gonna continue rise for no less than hitting that previous resistance level so uh, our tech profit level is gonna be um, 0 0.70296 so 
let's see how many pips is that we are talking about almost uh, 86 pips hopefully gonna be in profit and hopefully we are gonna make them USD CAD I don't have anything to say everything is going well and please pay attention I mean wow look at that the bear has reversed exactly from the sell level I have given in the last weekly analysis video it didn't man I, 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 I don't know what to say I'm, I'm just proud of myself I mean yes the bear has reversed exactly from there I mean it didn't move higher than that or reverse before that yeah okay uh, euro usd pound usd aud usd they did not re uh, reverse as i thought or from the level i thought usd cad was more loyal to me so i'm really gra uh, grateful for that anyway uh, the signal for the usd cad is still valid and we are not going to change anything uh, the signal is right now active and so far it's going in 11 12 pips of profit please keep it running uh, the pair is not going to be able, in my opinion, with the weakness of the US dollar to, actu to actually make the break out from that resistance. We already have uh, that resistance has made the attempt number one. And right now we are in the middle of the creation of resistance number two. OK, USD, USD GPY also signal is still valid. Uh, we can see that the pair has already made um, one, two, three attempts on that. I think this is the one, right? Just to be sure I'm not uh, mistaken. Oh, no, sorry. Yes. Uh, this week, the pair has o has already made only two attempts. This, this is the one, and that is the second one. And as you can see, uh, the price action... Okay. Okay, good. And the price action is telling us that the pair is going to continue the fall. Therefore, uh, please keep the trade running. It's still valid. And I'm expecting for it to fall to at least 118 pips as hopefully gonna be in profit. Uh, USDCHF. USDCHF has already started the reversal and it did not also reach my entry point. It's all right. So let's delete the signal. Uh, luckily the signals are correct. However, they did not happen on the level uh, I have given. Anyway, what we can see right now is that the pair, the USDCHF, uh, has already made the retest of that broken support level and right now it is uh, falling so let's see what we can do actually with the USDCHF let me get rid of the previous take profit level and again we are on the 4 hour chart let's move to the 30 minute time frame to see what we are actually uh, or the hidden details from the 4 hour chart now uh, it's very clear for me that we are having right here a key support level now, what we can expect from the market is that it might actually reverse on that support and that support level as well. And we can see that the reversal has already happened. So what we can hope actually from the USDCHF is to rise a little bit more, hitting that previous resistance and then going to continue the fall. That being said, uh, let me just adjust the signal for the USDCHF. Uh, we can expect for the pair to reverse look at it it's already reversing actually i think it's gonna reverse for at least oh my god it's only 10 pips only uh let's go back to the four hour chart actually yeah uh the usdchf is good for the sell right away sell now on let me just mention uh sell now on 0 0.94142 that is the current level uh which was the pair on uh, on the time of recording this video and I think let's go back to the daily hour uh, sorry <laughs> daily, hour. <laughs> daily candle and we can expect for the pair to actually fall all the way to that support level and that's gonna be hopefully uh, almost 100 pips gonna be in profit uh, all right so let me just mention the take profit level is gonna be 0 0.93247 that's my expectation for the re for the rest of the week and hopefully it's gonna work now let's check the gold which is really interesting now what's happening because the gold again did not reach my entry point exactly what happened to the other pairs man only the USD CAD and USD GPY were really loyal to me but this one did not hmm it's okay let me now just uh, tell you something uh, the gold is rising because of the weakness of the dollar and also the rise of the oil prices. Now, 
what we can expect from the gold is exactly what I said before let's now go to the weekly candles let me get rid of all the lines so we can okay now let me explain to you this my friends now look at the current level of the gold it's right now at the top level of the resistance and that resistance has never been reached before in almost eight years so the gold has actually really made a strong growth and that level hasn't been broken out from since actually 2011 the breakout from that level is not gonna be easy and the pair definitely gonna reverse at that point however it is really not recommended at all to sell the gold at that level all I'm saying is uh, the gold is gonna reverse but it's gonna be still valid for the buy I think with the coronavirus and the pandemic uh, um, hitting the United States uh, the US dollar has never been that weak before uh, this is the worst case this is the worst scenario happened in the uh, modern uh, um, history of the United States in my opinion and it's gonna really affect the, 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 the US dollar so badly and I think that is actually gonna drive the gold prices to rise more in my opinion that being said uh, we can actually start buying the gold again right on that level on let me just tell you buy on 1786.46 because that level on the four hour chart let me move to the 30 minute time frame as we can see we had right here the strong key resistance level and I don't see the pair is gonna immediately make the break out of it and go down I just don't see this happening especially again I'm telling you with the weakness of the dollar the gold is at least gonna continue the rise again to hit that resistance and in my opinion is gonna continue growing and gonna break out from the resistance level now if we place the buy order right here on that previous resistance and if I set the take profit level right on the top of that resistance again we can expect about 100 pips uh, profit from this uh, signal however uh, that is only for the short term signal and that is exactly what I'm going to do I just want everyone to be safe therefore uh, the tech profit level is gonna be on 1797.04 uh, meanwhile uh, for those who like to keep the trade running for a long time I really think that the pair is eventually gonna make another break out from that resistance level and I think it's gonna be on the news that the gold has broke has actually made the break out from a, a long time resistance which has lasted for the last nine years and we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit let me just be sure uh, exactly right there yes until it hit that resistance level so we can look for almost 750 pips of profit of course I don't want anyone to keep the thread running for that long however that is the reality for what's happening in the gold it's really rising like crazy uh, that movement is really scary for the gold I mean not scary for the gold of course I mean it's unusual what's happening right now we have to re remember that uh, the dollar the US dollar is really facing uh, horrible days and the situation I don't see in the horizons any chance for it to be uh, any better uh, it's gonna take a really long time for the for the uh, cases numbers to increase to degrees and yeah it's really gonna take long time in my opinion because it's, it can't be happen fast anyway that was the that was the midweek analysis uh, for this week hopefully everything is gonna uh, go well as I expected and hopefully you my friends gonna make really good profits out of this signal so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching